on the streets in Denver, Colorado, talking to people today about the Open Rangers, one of the most exciting, the most compelling topics in the world today. Poetry has everybody around here very, very excited. Excuse me, sir, have you ever heard of the Open Rangers? Excuse me, you look like an intelligent, well-cultured individual. Have you ever heard of the Open Ranger? Um, didn't they want to lower the grazing fees? No. Excuse me, sir, have you heard of the Open Ranger? No, I, I haven't. Excuse me, ma'am, have you heard of the Open Rangers? Of course I have. They're those, uh, uh, stars of the P. Poets. Uh, yeah, poets. Poets. Oh, oh, and they do all that, uh, 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 starts with a D. The dancing? Uh, That's right, some of them sing and dance. You have heard of the Open Rangers. I told you I'd heard of them. Literary perverts, that's what they are. Doing obscene things with the mother tongue. And that music, if you want to call it music, it's the first, and that's what it is. There ought to be a law. Somebody ought to write their congressman. You wait till Jesse Helms hears about this. What, what is it? What's that? It, it starts with a C. Don't point that thing at me. Is, is this on tape? You're, are you taping this? <laughs> Colorado Plateau and the high hard plains. You trapped house sandboxes and over dark, uneven highways. Just to note the blood thing. The curve. Living from hand to mouth. Throws a shadow that discolors the soil. Makes the whiskers turn gray. Stringy at noon, all the little dust devils entertain thoughts of assuming a human form just to stir up a bit more anxiety. And at night near the river, those voices get loud. By dawn, all the tracks have spiraled down into minute proportions. If I were to cut a deal with Jackrabbit right now, I would have to promise not to make him a hero. I would have to avoid that pop culture etiquette. Be sure that his name and his silhouette will not be abused by restaurants, saloons, and art galleries.
I crossed the border into Utah and met the devil in the highway. Drunk with the wind of engines, I chased him out across the blistering sky. I followed him blind up grinning purple mesas, got lost in haunted canyons carved by a bleeding river, and found him again in barbed wire scorpion fields that clawed the brittle air. We trailed dead cowboys down forlorn paths, screaming with rust and bullets, sweat, axle-cracking, spirit-busting, badly wronged rights of way, leading everywhere leading nowhere. The devil enjoyed every minute the uncertainty of the chase. With jagged white line whiskers and smoky tail-eyed eyes, sucking dust through his asphalt smile, he stretches into madness the lust for a land without maps. Outside my caffeine eyes, the plateau blew by between slow dreams of erosion visions of trees, much higher, much cooler. I wasn't chasing anymore, wasn't following. I slammed my foot on the gas and spun right out of my skin, making sure to leave the devil something to eat on the long road home. I crossed the border into Utah. Wraps herself in a great ball of fire. Others think she is burning her core. It is safe. Keep so still till an itching brings truth. She now knows after living their lies. She, always making her bed, she, always smoothing the wrinkled, rough fabric. She, always shaping the curve of her world. It whirls round her, then stops like a top, all spun out. One by one, she is laying clay bricks, making home where she finds herself aching and longing for more of what's not with her now. To her, fighting fair begins with a battle that rages within. She's alone, doing time, climbing big steps, three forward, two back laughing through tears. She gets lost in a sea of emotion. Romantic red tape. Is it true? They all know her much better than she knows herself. Crystal guide, lead the way through this great ball of fire, not burning her core. Shape the curve of her world. float on a small shifting planet, drifting sentiently 
through the dark snake of time. Dripping revolutions and rolling to the rhythm of rock and roll and bebop, boogie and jive. But whatever comes down, a float, an unfinished rambling tapestry in a mosaic of time. Hmm. War is but a fart with a long lasting odor. A martyr's death is an anal fixation during an Oedipal moon written in the stars and edited for television. Still we scratch, spit, and backbite to play leading man to waltz with leading lady. Want my autograph? That one throws up her neurotic nose as she tries to save her marriage one last time. Again. That one, numb in the womb of his booze and his bacon, preparing his belly for bypass operations. Hmm. And they, Peter Pans with a bone to pick, consumers, congestions, condemned to labor for laborious sake, always forgetting we are but dust afloat. On dust afloat, surrounded by dust afloat. In time, afloat. Afloat! Hmm. A banana float has like purpose. Ah. But we've something a banana float has not. Choice. I, we, are the choosing animal. Afloat and yet steadfast in our resolve to give form, to give reason to give purpose to the darkness. A sneeze, and yet a dignified sneeze, proud and quarrelsome, in a hurry to remain where fleeting memory imagines we have been. And so the exoduses, the crusades, the genocide, the lawsuits, the news cameras, the brides, the babies, the bombs, the hurry, 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 for fear heaven may up the rent, or hell foreclose on our houses. Time will never run low, but you will, and I will. We will trickle through the hourglass, forever churning our new beginnings towards the same old ending. Forever. Forever afloat, senselessly, sensuously, at times serenely, but always choosing, forever dissertating that this choice be the more rational, this choice be the more real, be the more realizing than the others. Happy in the unhappy struggle and demented by the day of leisure, the day there be nothing to do but float, climb in the swimming pool and float, stoke up the hot tub and float, lay down the sword, the hammer, the ledger, light up the pipe, lean back and float. Hey, what is that? Is that an angel? Hey, what is that?
is that? Is that an angel? Hey, what is that? Is that an angel? Hey, what is that? Is that an angel? Done. Greetings from Bob, the Retriever. What have I done? I... Today, Bob freed the bird. my child's hand. The bird mowed the carpets, milked the chicken. in my child's hand. Smoked some fags, conjoled a couple of hags, and yelled, Obsession. His dying breath, Father, today I am eating light. Drove his watermelon into a drive-by and said that today Grace was college-bound to this place. In our busy, what wet bush done? dream. Do you mind if I scream? God in my child's hand. Five years in the making. Let's stop faking content, NORAD. And enlightenment. How are we supposed to be with you? Today. The dreams and the light imagined. Today, men, Bob freed the and birds. All that faith creates or love the desires. Terrible, the carpets, strange, sublime. the chickens and jolt some shags. Smoke. And I pull the gun. And yelled obsession. Child's hand. To the cathedral drove his watermelon into a drive-by and said that Grace was college-bound I put a place. gun in my child's hand! In our busy, wet bush dream, do you mind if I scream? Five years in the making. Let's all stop faking content, NORAD, and enlightenment. of miles down under the world we don't see without help from Cousteau. Like a planet itself. Can't destroy all that's there in this lifetime. Organic is snuffed to grow back from a place we don't share. Terrestrial watchdogs look over our shoulders from points we can't see. Guarding what grows from within deep reserves we can't grasp with sick grip of sure greed. It's organic, recycles itself, like great art may be shuffled and hidden away in this epoch, but only to grow like strange things found fathoms away as in light years when all that we clutch and kill crumbles and falls away new breed of being will find what drifts on of this new force will say it's organic Like a kid again, living in your heart. There's no such person as the devil, he insisted, as flames flared from his eye sockets and licked his face, like a black widow must lick the lover she seduces before devouring. 
It is superstition, he ranted on, clicking his cloven heels for emphasis and nervously twitching his tail. Man is in control of the planet, and science and reason are king. With that, he turned back to his vials and his test tubes and mixed a molecule cocktail. And somewhere far away, visible only on radar and TV screens, subject to instant replay and statistical analysis, thousands went up in flames, and the wail of orphans roared like a furnace. Like I said, he turned and winked at me, adjusting his cap to accommodate his horns of plenty. There's no such thing as the devil. There's only them and me. is crushed purple by the toes of overconfidence, then a star will tumble in the west and the Antichrist will shiver of goosebumps. This old house is made of dreams. I'm a businessman. He don't know what that means. When children dress in black with shaved heads and sheared ideals, automobiles will rumble Echo thunder. But eardrums popping to spastic rhythms will not compute. Rivers will rise, flooding banks. The corns of old women's feet will ache. Shadows will separate from the objects that grew them. And Bibles will crumble till all that is left is the family name. Then, and only then, does Napoleon confront the mirror, finding himself weighed in even measure with nobodies and the mediocre somebodies who sign his check. Then, and only then does he hang his head in the dangling noose and offer sacrifice. When blood is crushed purple by the toes of overconfidence, then a star will tumble in the West and the Antichrist will shiver of goosebumps. Let me take you on a trip to a wonderful, wonderful wonderland. I'm upset because I care. Alice, something's wrong somewhere. Were you really in wonderful, wonderful wonderland? Or were you flying around with Peter Pan? The jolly green giant wears a frown. Somebody pushed Humpty Dumpty down. Peter Peter had a wife and couldn't keep her. Heard you creeping in. I'm not a heavy sleeper. Your weird looking friends, give me the creeps. Those fairies, goblins, witches, and freaks. Alice, were you really in wonderful, wonderful wonderland? Or were you flying and lying around with Peter Pan? Oh, you used to be such a sweet lass. But you changed after smoking that grass. Your fairy godmother would be ashamed of you. And Mother Goose would have a few choice words, too. Rumor has it that you're calling Peter Pan 
sweet Peter for something. Besides, I saw your big bad wolf huffing and puffing at you, looking like little Miss Muffet, while your best friend, Mary, Mary, quite contrary, for spite turned out sound into a fairy. Hey, this is the last straw, the one that broke the camel's back. Cool it, Alice, or go live in a house built by Jack. Yeah, your man Jack. Well, he won't be nimble and he won't be quick. When I go up had his head with a candlestick, you know how to treat me very well. Ain't putting you in no pumpkin shell. And Alice, one more thing I gotta say to you. You better stop calling me Little Boy Blue. Mm. Conspiracy, they get everybody to think for themselves. Can you imagine what's gonna happen if everybody thinks for themselves? I'll tell you, you don't know. Somebody ought to write a letter. Write a letter, get up and, and stop these perverts. Oh, if, if everybody ought to write a letter, what's gonna happen? There'll be no more ditto heads or anything like that. We